Oh, do we have some news for you. There they are. The F-350 keys that are gonna be going off to one of you very soon. Welcome back to another video here. Sorry for like the blood spot like on my face. I like tried to what I thought was a pimple and it wasn't so I just literally made my face bleed. That's lovely. They're gonna enjoy that. Anyways guys, what's going on? We are here with something kind of interesting. I'm gonna try to do this morning. I don't know if it's gonna work. So when I bought this car hauler, I thought it was gonna be a great idea, but in reality, it's just not wide enough. I really need something wider or something that's got drive over ramps or a flat deck. And the reason for that is stuff like like this is not gonna fit on it or even stuff like this does not fit on it and so it kind of makes it a little bit difficult which by the way thank you so much to everybody who entered to win this truck plus the five grand all of your orders are gonna be going out as soon as we can possibly ship them out we're shipping like crazy guys it's a lot of work when you're doing it yourself and you've only got like two employees that are packing currently we're still using our whole main level of our house to ship stuff out of so it's pretty crazy that's because we're trying to decide what we're doing right now because we kind of want to move to Ohio, we kind of want to buy an apartment building, we kind of want to rent a space temporarily, but if we rent a space, usually it's like one or two or three year lease is minimum. And so we're like, ah, like what do we do? I don't want to spend a bunch of money on a lease for like a year and then we're moving in six months or something. So like, it's just, it's complicated. We're trying to figure all that, all that stuff out. That is why we are doing it in our house currently. All that being said, this truck is now up for grabs. So if you want to enter to win this 1991 first gen Cummins plus $5,000 cash, every $1 is 10 entries. And unlike the last giveaway where we started it out with $1 is one entry and then we slowly went up, we're starting this one out high. That deal ends on September 13th and the overall giveaway is only, it's under 30 days I'm pretty sure. So it ends on October 7th and then it's going to be gone after that. So. Get entered while you can, buy anything off the store, shirts, hats, hoodies, keychains, decals, anything on the store. Every $1 is 10 entries to win that truck. So anyways, what I'm gonna be trying to do today was take the dually to get dropped off for paint and body work. The Whistling Diesel dually is, for the most part, pretty clean. The frame is clean, axles and all that stuff because they redid everything underneath there. But the actual cab itself, the rockers and the cab corners are just gone. Like they are rotted. They're gone, they're toast, the hood needs repainted, and the top of the cab needs repainted. But other than that, it's a decent shape. So it's not like, oh, every fender and every rocker, every underside of the door, everything's rotted out. It's just the rocker and cab corner, doors don't have any rust on them, fenders, and I looked under the dually fenders, no rust under there, no rust on the front fenders, nothing. It's just the rocker and cab corner, and then the top of the hood's fading a little bit, and the top of the cab's fading a little bit. So I wanted to measure it to see if it'll fit on our trailer. And as crazy as that sounds, in reality, it only has to fit the front half of the truck past the wheel wells in the dually part, as wide as it is, and it would definitely hang off the trailer, the dually part would only have to go on to right here, and then the rear bumper would probably sit right on the end of the trailer, but that's what I would want if I'm pulling it with this Ford right here. There's no way this thing's gonna fit on the trailer. Technically it should fit, but it would be super close. Here goes nothing. There's no way. This is so 
<laughs> Look how much the tires are hanging off the back. I mean, it fit. It didn't even touch the forces. It didn't scratch them or nothing. Because it had a couple inches still, but... Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my goodness. I mean, here's the thing. The truck hangs off the trailer and it looks stupid, but it's just as wide as the trailer. See, the tires disappear and they line up together on the trailer with the truck. It's like, it, it looks really dumb, but technically, the trailer tires and the dually tires line up and they're the same width. I mean, I can't back it up anymore to get any more weight off the truck, because if I go back anymore, then I'm off of the flat part of the, the deck. This just looks so bad. I don't think it's as bad as it looks. I think it mostly just looks really bad because the truck's got a six inch lift on it. And so the lift itself doesn't make the truck, you know, it doesn't help the truck any in terms of whether it'll look like it's squatting or not. When you put a big lift on the truck and then you throw a ton of weight behind it, it's gonna look even worse than if it was stock with a load on it because now you got a bunch of lift that's gotta decompress really quick to get down to the actual super stiff suspension. It just looks worse when it's lifted, that's all I'm trying to say. I'm going to think about this for a few more minutes and I'll get back. Well, I decided to brave it out and attempt to haul this thing about 10 miles. I don't think the truck will have any issue in terms of power. I don't need to go fast. It's all like 45 the whole way. So even if I'm going 35, I'm fine. But it's just, that thing just looks huge. Like it, it just grabs your attention. Like there's no way, I don't know. I'm just nervous that some kind of law enforcement's gonna notice that going down the road and be like, what is going on? And like pull me over for it. So, I mean, everything's insured. I'm still nervous though, so holy crap, I'm so nervous. Let's get on the road and see how this goes. Right now we're taking a little loop around the block because I didn't really have anywhere to turn my trailer around at my entrance with all the traffic coming, so taking a little loop. I mean, so far the truck's moving super easily with the load on it. It still just makes me nervous though, you know. I mean, it's slowing down just fine. As soon as I apply the brakes, it starts to slow down. It does have trailer brakes on it. No matter how confident I am in the 7.3, to be able to make it over there no problem with this weight it's still a little bit sketchy because that truck is huge i know in terms of weight it's not like it's more heavy than your typical 04 dodge other than like the axles might be a little heavier the increased weight in the suspension that it has and like the wheels and tires on it but overall it's not that far off from the weight of like that truck stock so i mean this truck should be able to haul another pickup truck on a trailer. The trailer's rated for the weight. The trailer's rated for like 10,500, but I'm like right at the max. Like in terms of the trailer, being able to haul that truck and the weight of the trailer itself, I'm probably right at 10,000. So we're just gonna take it slow and hope that we make it there with no issues. If I do have issues, I have my brother's phone number and he's working at my house today so he could run over with a jack or spare tire or whatever. I'm taking it really easy on the throttle. I'm only at 1500 RPM right now. It accelerates just fine though. Like the truck accelerates kind of like when it has the giant 24s on it with this load on it and these smaller wheels and tires, honestly. Five minutes down the road, coming up to a stop right now. And no foot applied to the brake yet. We're gonna start slowing down, coming up on the stop sign here. As soon as I touch the brakes though, those trailer brakes work. I mean, it's slowing the whole thing down. I can feel it, like almost like the trailer's slowing the truck down a little bit. And there we go. Just gonna keep on going. The thing I will tell you I noticed the absolute most is the front end is super light. So steering at first when we were getting around the corner, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have any front steering. You know, like I thought like something was wrong, but what wrong with my steering? Cause it was so light, like it just seemed like odd. Well, it's cause, truck's leaning back so like the front end is 
really light. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but if you're not expecting that, it takes you off guard when you first start going down the road. Well, I did just drive past two different officers. One was just a local police and one was a sheriff. Both just waved, man. Just kept on going. I think it helps when you wave at them first. Steep grade. Just keeping it at about 2,000 intentionally, just so you know. I'm not putting it down to the floor. Just trying to keep the RPMs high. Top of the hill. Then a downshift. Perfect. One of my OBS brothers following me around town. This truck drove really good. We got the Dually dropped off, of course. No dually on the trailer anymore. Truck actually rode really nice, and my honest feedback overall, truck drove better with a load than without one in the 24s on it. That's just my opinion. It drove really nice, really silky. As soon as you soften up that heavy duty suspension, it rides so, so nice. Like the truck felt like it was in its element. The fastest we got was 60 and that was on the highway where it was a 70 and we went 60 for like five minutes and then the rest of it was like 45, 50 miles an hour. And then some of the little back roads, like 35, truck drove really nice, handled really well, and trailer performed really good. Like it soaked up all the potholes down through Fort Wayne here in town really nicely, which is a big deal. No problems, and it was about a 30 minute drive, give or take, just that since you're going kind of through town, you know, even though it's only 10 miles, it's about 30 minutes because it takes you about three minutes a mile just to get through town. Overall, good experience though. Wouldn't complain about anything. Thank you so much for watching the sketchy towing video with the 7.3 Power Stroke. Truck's totally fine, by the way. Before I go over there, if you want to enter to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash, you guys all know what truck it is. You guys all recognize it if you've been anywhere on the truck community, on the internet in the past few months. If you want to enter to win it every $1 right now is 10X entries, the truck could be yours. So if you want to enter, lmpgear.com or link in the description below. In terms of this truck, it really towed absolutely amazing. I know there's probably gonna be people in the comments, oh my gosh, don't work with the truck, it's gonna be somebody else's. Listen, currently it's still mine. You guys know if anything would have happened, I would have bought you a different truck or fixed it or whatever. I mean, you're not gonna get a truck that's mediocre or broken or damaged or whatever. It's just not gonna happen here. Towed super nice drove really really good these wheels and tires it's fun towing on these i can't say it would have been as fun towing on the wide ones it does it just fine but i'm just saying it i don't know if it would have been as pleasurable as it was with this setup the trailer handled great handled it really well i mean other than being as wide as the trailer with the tires hanging off it was not a problem at all anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed that short video if you did smash that thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next video peace